A state agency could soon have its next permanent director. Lawmakers questioning the governor's pick to lead the South Carolina Department of Juvenile Justice. Our Jason Raven has this story. Well, acting director Ian Hendrick took over in September 2021 after the previous director resigned following a vote of no confidence from the Senate, a scathing audit report, and a walkout from staff. We spent a year. Well, Thursday morning, a Senate Corrections and Penology subcommittee questioned acting DJJ director Eden Hendrick. A few weeks ago, Governor Henry McMaster nominated director Hendrick to be the permanent director of the agency. Now, the panel asked her about changes she's made in her time as acting director and any improvements to DJJ facilities. I believe that it's really what you want to do, but um, first I'd like to ask you, what do you think are your top three accomplishments since you've been appointed interim director? Hendrick says one of the first things they did was move her office back behind the fence along with other leadership as well. She says they believe this will help improve morale at the agency. Now, she has also been able to institute a plan to raise pay for staff who provide direct care to juveniles. According to Hendrick, the agency does continue to struggle with staffing. I think when I first testified again for y'all, I was very optimistic and I was like, oh, we'll get more staff in six, uh, six months. I was wrong right. <laughs> and I will be the first to admit that. It is going to take way longer than six months. Now, DJJ is also in the process of updating cameras in their detention facilities. Not long ago, Director Hendrick had made a request to lawmakers to fund a mental health facility for youth in South Carolina. She had requested they send that money to the Department of Mental Health. Now, Director Hendrick says lawmakers could help make improvements at DJJ by reforming the juvenile justice system in South Carolina. There are bills in the state house that would do just that. Which will limit the number of status offenders that come, status and low level offenders that will come into the detention center in contact with those violent offenders. The subcommittee voted to give Hendricks nomination a favorable report. Now the full committee will take up her nomination soon in Columbia. Jason Raven, 7 News.